This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Happy Aloha Friday and welcome to Perspectives on Global Justice Think Tech Hawaii program. This is your host, Beatrice Cantelmo. What is the link between all 7 billion human beings on Earth? Certainly, it's not the anger, the hatred, socioeconomic disparities, intolerance, and all of the violence and conflicts that we are seeing in so many countries nowadays. This morning, the United States National Guard started deploying 10,000 soldiers to Europe and the Middle East. And just a few days ago, tensions between the US and North Korea grew, and we are now at risk of entering an unnecessary new war. Conflicts in Venezuela, Brazil, Israel, Russia, and NATO are not much better either. What kind of future should we expect? Peaceful solutions, not aggression, is what works under dire circumstances. We can and should be able to work to calm the egos of those in power and spare the lives of innocent people. In the 21st century, dialogue must and should be our main tool to promote understanding compassion and to relieve suffering. Today we have a very special guest. Suzette Floriani is a Brazilian national who studies astrology. She studies the positions of relationships between the sun, the moon, the stars and planets in order to analyze their influence on human actions. I asked her to do an astrological map of the world as it is today. She did and her findings are quite revealing. And this is what she said. Uh, in this year, uh, the challenge is quite individual in nature, uh, but also as a society, we have a strong collective and a spiritual conscious calling. Those who operate from an individual mode will feel very confused and won't be able to fit or to get along too well in today's world. Spiritual and collective understanding are key tools that must be present in today's lives, and without humility and without not having fear to seek new ways to walk in today's world. Um, we must have to have that present uh, if we want to thrive as humans. And diplomacy, communication and optimism are the paths for peace. But there are many confused egos that impact our leaders and they are making radical decisions They are not taking into account the needs of the collective well-being of people that they serve and of this planet as well. We have a few tools to influence our current leaders so that we can lead from a place of harmony and real strength. That's what she said. And when I heard that, I said, wow, you can see all of that from looking at an astrological map of the Earth? And she said, yes, well, tell us more. And that's why she's here. And that today we're going to have a slightly different show. Uh, it's going to be done in Portuguese and English because Suzette is visiting us from Brazil. So on that note, welcome to our program, Suzette. Suzette, thank you for being on our nosso show. Oh, you're very welcome. And uh, so, um, Suzette, tell us a little bit about uh, your background uh, with uh, uh, being an astrologer. Uh, Suzette, diga para nós uh, um pouquinho da sua experiência como astróloga. Astrologia foi um caminho de autoconhecimento. The, the despertar da minha consciência individual. So uh, she says that astrology was a path that she had found for self-knowledge and also a collective understanding of how the earth works. Eu posso continuar. E, e com esse conhecimento ficou muito mais fácil compreender é, as personalidades, as distintas personalidades e suas características pessoais. And then with this knowledge, she was able to have a better understanding of people's individual uh, characteristic traits and also uh, personalities and how it all works together. É muito importante essa compreensão porque é, vivemos em sociedade, mas precisamos ter essa compreensão individual para fazermos uma boa participação nesse processo social. Uh, and she said it's very important uh, to have this individual understanding of people's personalities and what may influence their behaviors because we live in collective society and as such uh, it is very important to be able to have that balance uh, to be able to thrive um, in a more just uh, world. Nosso caminho de desenvolvimento e evolução depende muito dessa autoconsciência individual, 
para que nós possamos fazer um processo coletivo mais participativo, humanista, é, compassivo. And uh, this uh, individual understanding is very uh, key uh, for us to be able to be better participants uh, collectively in making this uh, contribution where we can live in a world with more harmony and more compassion. É, é uma responsabilidade individual que possamos criar um mundo melhor, um mundo mais pacífico, harmonioso, cooperativo. And so this is definitely in her perspective a, a very individual responsibility of self uh, awareness and reflection and understanding uh, but that individual uh, strength and, and, and self awareness then works collectively uh, so that we can have a, a, a world with more peace and more harmony. Então, Suzette, um, é, eu te pedi para fazer o um mapa do mundo, uh, para a gente ter uma ideia do que está acontecendo. É, então, se você pudesse ajudar uh, a nossos uh, participantes a entender um pouquinho desse mapa, seria ótimo. So, Suzette, I have asked you for a favor, which was to uh, draw an astrological map of the world. Uh, of this year mm -hmm. uh, to kind of get a glimpse of what's happening. So do you mind actually showing uh, your findings and explaining how uh, astrology and the map works? Uh, and uh, can we see the map, please? There you go. So this is the map of our world this year. Então esse é o mapa astrológico do mundo nesse ano. So explica pra gente. Explain it to us. É, o ano, o um novo ano é um evento. É um evento cósmico, é um evento macrocósmico, que tem efeitos no microcosmo, ou dentro dos, dos países, dentro do, das localidades. E And I'm going to interject so I yeah. can uh, translate the book para parar um pouquinho para poder traduzir. Uh, uh, so she said that every new year, uh, when you look at an astrological map, that the energies uh, that are coming from uh, the microcosm will impact uh, the earth and uh, subsequently uh, the countries. E essas influências elas guiam o período do ano com acontecimentos que vão ter reflexo nas, na vida das pessoas. And so uh, the um, the influence of uh, uh, micro, uh, my, the microcosm uh, will have influence in people's lives and happenings, like you know, in people's behaviors, mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, will be reflected in different countries. Um, and it's very telling in part of what we are going through uh, this year. Yes. Esse ano é um ano com muitos desafios. Uh, this is a year of uh, big challenges. Sim, porque é um ano do ponto de vista espiritual, um ano de uma grande transição. So from uh, a uh, spiritual strength standpoint in astrological uh, energy, it's a, a year of big transitions. Mm -hmm. Que é muito importante que cada pessoa busque essa compreensão e essa forma de conexão. And so it's very important that people become more uh, cognizant of uh, this energy shift that's happening. Uh, and also ways to connect uh, differently. Uh, Suzette, when you say that this is a year of big transitions and spiritual uh, uh, shifts in our earth, what do you mean by that? Uh, Suzette, quando você explica que esse é um ano de grande transição espiritual e que uh, muitas mudanças estão acontecendo, o que, que você quer dizer com isso? É que a linguagem da astrologia ela é muito simbólica, mas ela nos mostra, por essa movimentação planetária, né, esse movimento dos astros, acontecimentos que estão em curso. Um, so she said that um, 
in astrology, uh, the, the, the symbols you know, are quite subtle, but um, the, each symbol in the uh, map uh, shows uh, influences, you know, that uh, impacts uh, our countries and our earth and people's behaviors as well. Um, então, um, por exemplo, nós estamos passando com muitos problemas onde vários países estão em conflitos, vários líderes estão assim, sabem, afetados mesmo, né? E como que você é, viria uh, isso pelo âmbito da astrologia? So the question that I asked Suzette was that um, this seems to be a year where there is a lot of uh, conflicts in many countries. Uh, and it's something that's been, you know, brewing for quite a while. And also we have many leaders that are really out of control and things are really uh, quite tense in many places. So my question to her was how does she view that from an astrological standpoint? How can she explain what's happening from, from that perspective? Cada pessoa pode participar desse momento e contribuir com ele desde que compreenda a si mesma. É, é necessário uma participação individu individual mais consciente, não negligente em relação aos processos mundiais ou processos coletivos. Uh, so her answer was that uh, obviously that there is a need not only for the leaders but uh, for everyone in our constituent uh, to be more conscious about uh, decision making and behaviors and how that's impacting uh, local politics, local lives, and also at a micro level how it's impacting uh, global issues as well. Participar conscientemente, colaborar. É, se conectar de forma otimista para que haja um fluxo de energia mais favorável para as mudanças e não simplesmente se tornar pessimista diante da situação atual. Um, so, uh, part of what uh, she uh, brought up is that it's kind of hard to not be uh, pessimistic in light of all that's happening, but it is very crucial that optimism be brought up as part of this new shift uh, so that we can actually, uh, uh, you know, reach different um, outcomes for what we're going through. So, a pergunta que eu tenho para você é, é muito normal em momentos de conflito a vontade de fazer protesto, a revolta pelas injustiças é, e até mesmo um protesto contra a liderança atual. É, e como que você vê é, pela parte astrológica, como que essa energia coletiva está impactando esse processo, tanto pelo lado positivo como pelo lado negativo. Como que você vê esse equilíbrio? So, my question was, um, in, in times where there are so many uh, conflicts and uh, uh, democracy under scrutiny and so many social injustices, uh, many people are quite angry, and rightly so. Uh, and uh, so there are many protests and a lot of uncertainty, a lot of anxiety, a lot of insecurity. So my question to her was, um, in light of all of that, what can we do collectively uh, to be able to uh, positively help shift, uh, you know, issues that we're going through right now? Atitudes radicais, é, elas não vão resolver. Elas não vão facilitar a compreensão do que está ocorrendo. Porque como é um processo mais sutil que está ocorrendo, é, é algo mais subjetivo. É, se não houver uma compreensão mais essencial ou mais genuína de um processo humano, vai ser difícil é, compreender esse momento atual e sair dessa crise. So, uh, in order to get out of this uh, world crisis, uh, it's hard, it's very counterintuitive to actually 
take us take a step back and all we'll take radical measures uh, but that's exactly what we need to do in her perspective um, it is important that we remain focused and that we uh, be objective about what is it that we want to shift but not from the same uh, place of despair and, and, and anger and a disarray that we are seeing in um, you know today's world so we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna come back Aloha and Richard Concepcion the host of Hispanic Hawaii you can watch my show every other Tuesday at 2 p.m. we will bring you entertainment educational and also we tell you what is happening right here within our community think tech Hawaii Aloha but grandmother, what big eyes you have. She said. What are you doing? Research says reading from birth accelerates our baby's brain development. Push. Ah! Read aloud 15 minutes. Every child, every parent, every day. Thank you. Kindness. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Uh, welcome back to, to Perspectives on Global Justice Think Tech Hawaii program. This is your host, Beatrice Contavo, and I'm here with our beautiful guest, Suzette Floriani. So, um, we are going to actually kind of take a quick look at our world the astrological map for this year. And uh, Suzette is going to spend some time explaining uh, some of what she talked in the first time, uh, part of the program. How does she arrive at these interpretations uh, based uh, on uh, all of the beautiful symbols that look like you know a foreign language uh, to anyone who does not understand astrology? But she will she will help us understand a little bit better. So, eu estava explicando para o nosso público que é, parte das interpretações que você fez na primeira parte do nosso programa foi baseado na leitura do mapa né? uhum. e, e que os símbolos e onde estão as casas tem tudo uma conexão e, e é uma linguagem estrangeira para todos nós que não entendemos de astrologia mas que você vai ajudar a gente a entender um pouquinho uhum. então uh, let's see the map again so go ahead então, vai lá. É, é, uma, é uma linguagem simbólica mas so, this is a symbolic uh, language yeah. É, quando nós olhamos para o mapa, há uma concentração maior de informações na última casa astrológica, que é a casa 12. So when we look at the map, there is a large concentration of symbols on the last house, which is the house 12. Uh -huh. Essa é uma casa é, que trabalha muito com o um contexto de conexão espiritual conexão de consciência. So this is a house where there's a lot of spiritual uh, openness and conscious awareness um, and changes. É, essa, essa casa nos mostra que é um período de buscarmos a nossa conexão de fé. So uh, this is a house that uh, from a, a spiritual uh, perspective in terms of collective uh, humanity walk uh, that we must seek uh, a shift and, and a different way to relate to one another. Porque necessitamos é, trabalhar com a compreensão, a aceitação e o perdão. And so a uh, big part of uh, her readings is that uh, the challenge that we have uh, uh, reflected in some of the problems that we have in today's world have to do that we have to connect with better understanding and also uh, some forgiveness and uh, reparations need to occur um, in order for this shift to happen. E pela concentração de vários planetas na energia de Aries and so there's a lot of, a large concentration of several planets uh, in Aries' sign. 
que é a primeira energia astrológica, which is the fast astrological energy of the uh, map. E, e essa energia nos chama a atitudes, a termos atitudes. So that is the energy that invites us to uh, take stands and uh, have um, attitudes, you know, that will have to take place in order for this changes to happen. Mm -hmm. Participarmos desse momento ativamente, mas não radicalmente. We must be active participants uh, in this uh, shift, but not to rely on radical uh, uh, action and radical changes. Ativamente, criativamente e de forma inovadora. So, uh, this is, um, in, in the map, she, she reads that this very uh, uh, open to a, a, a lot more creativity on how we view problems uh, and, and solutions, especially solutions, uh, and that we can do it uh, collectively. It must be done collectively. Porque é um momento novo e muito inspirador para quem decide é, agir, agir, participar. Todas as pessoas têm coragem e recursos para isso. Uh, so, in, in that perspective, in her readings, uh, she feels that even the challenges that we are faced with can be also viewed as catalysts and as ways to inspire us. Uh, to work together because uh, to those who have the courage and will dare to work uh, from that place of uh, collective action, uh, many good things could happen. Uh, uh, can, can we go back still to the... To the uh, thank you. Existe muita, muita, muita força disponível para construirmos uma base sólida se trabalharmos com, com, com vontade e com essas inspirações criativas que estão vindo. So, according to the world map, uh, there is a lot of strength and a lot of resources available, not only in terms of energy, but also in terms of uh, uh, human resources, so that we can create or recreate a much stronger uh, Roots uh, to have societies that will reflect more harmony and uh, more balance and the peace that we need. Nós não podemos pensar de maneira egoísta, mas diplomática, participativa. So, uh, be more participant and but also using diplomacy and um, separating. Uh, the selfish uh, um, way of or more individualistic ways of, of viewing problems uh, is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Quando você olha para o mapa, Bia, você vê que tem um, a linha que divide, que faz oposição, tem um planeta destacando ali do lado em oposição, é, é justamente o chamado para a harmonia, o equilíbrio e a paz. So, uh, looking at the map, uh, the, the line that goes uh, from uh, house 12 Set. to house 7 uh, shows that uh, there is a big calling for harmony and uh, for balance. E há uma possibilidade muito forte disso acontecer se trabalharmos com otimismo, com fé e com sabedoria. And that there is a big possibility for that shift to happen, for more harmony to be achieved if we walk uh, relentless from a place of uh, uh, diplomacy, uh, collective action, uh, and also with faith that this can be accomplished. So being relentless, I guess, yeah. in that belief. Yeah. É, esse respeito e pelos limites e a justiça é o caminho para a paz e cada pessoa individualmente pode fazer a sua parte. So she sees that the bridge uh, to achieve that has to be with uh, uh, individual, but also uh, mutual, uh, collective uh, boundaries and respect uh, and more equity 
in terms of justice uh, so that we can shift uh, the imbalances that we have today to more harmony. So, você consegue ver isso tudo é, com é, esses símbolos e o um mapa? Como é que funciona isso? So you can see all of this and you can interpret this with the symbols and the map. How does this work? <laughs> É, é uma linguagem, e é uma linguagem bastante lógica, Ela é uma linguagem que depende de você interpretar esses símbolos. So, to her uh, perspective, uh, this is a very logic language for the astrologers, obviously, who understand this language, and that once you learn to interpret uh, this, this, uh, the signs and the, and the, what does it mean, uh, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, Suzette, um, que tipo de conselho você poderia compartilhar com uma pessoa que fala Pô, eu sou uma pessoa só, como que eu vou poder influenciar uma mudança mundial é, ou até mesmo no nosso próprio governo, seja o governo do Havaí, dos Estados Unidos ou de um outro país. So, the question I asked Suzette was, um, what kind of tips she could give to a person who individually would say, I'm just one person, how can I possibly uh, impact any kind of uh, change or influence you know, in my community, be it here in Hawaii, or in the United States, or, in, or globally, uh, and also, you know, even to our current leaders, you know, what can I possibly do? And looking at it from uh, the perspective of, um, you know, peace and harmony. O mundo é feito de indivíduos, e indivíduos precisam estar bem. Para estar bem nessa realidade, é muito importante termos força interior termos fé, nos sentirmos conectados a uma força superior à nossa. Uh, and so Suzette said that, um, you know, in order to create any uh, collective change or influence, that uh, we must be grounded within ourselves first and that we need to look within and we need to walk with the things that uh, are not in alignment with ourselves uh, and strengthening you know those bases uh, you know that we just talked about it in the program today and uh, and believe that there is a high power out there that is looking after all of us and believing ourselves in our collective uh, energy and ability to co-create the changes that we so much need. I don't believe that the show was so fast. I can't believe how quickly the show uh, went by. But I wanted to thank you so much for coming here and giving a taste for our participants and to understand a little bit of how it works, the art of astrology. E eu queria te convidar para voltar várias vezes para explicar como é que as coisas estão evoluindo, né? So, um, I, I just told Suzette uh, how thankful I am for having her here today and to give our viewers a little touch, like a little taste, a little glimpse of um, how astrology works as an art form and also as a tool to be able to uh, help us all make sense, better sense of uh, what's happening in today's world and with ourselves. I also invited her to come back many times to give continuity uh, to the work that she does uh, and to show that to our viewers so that uh, we can have that perspective on global justice as well from an astrological standpoint. So on that note, uh, that concludes our uh, Think Tech Hawaii uh, Perspectives on Global Justice uh, program today. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next Friday. Ahoy ho!